Thank you. And uh, if you stop sharing, Brooke, I'll take over sharing. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So the, um, just to briefly introduce myself, if you haven't run across me before, um, my name is Bud Shaw. I'm a solution architect with uh, GSI, uh, with working with JD Edwards for over 23 years and over 30 years in uh, solution consulting. So normally I say this to kind of let you know that um, for me, you know, it's I have a, a broad and deep uh, ex expertise in JD Edwards. Um, and some familiarity with some of the other Oracle products, uh, eBusiness Suite, uh, some of the cloud, the new or what we called Fusion before the cloud, and and I'm actually picking up some stuff in the NetSuite. But uh, but basically, being around JD Edwards and in the Oracle world for so many years, um, you know, I've been to a lot of uh, open worlds, collaborates, in focus, different groups, uh, and different shows and and things like that. So, I was, uh, and I did attend uh, uh, this uh, Blueprint 4D show. I pre did three presentations at the show and attended as many sessions and what as I could. So I, I think it's kind of a natural fit for me to be the person kind of give my thoughts and impressions about the show. Um, and then uh, I give you a brief summary of what the numbers look like, you know, attendees, sessions and things like that. Um, and then as, as normally with these kind of events, you know, Oracle will give uh, their uh, direction um, and where they're going with JD Edwards um, in the future. So in that, that's, uh, we did get that sense of it and I'll talk about those. And then a lot of uh, the announcements or, or what upcoming things is what's new with the orchestrator uh, in JD Edwards, the, the, the tool set. So um, that we're taking so much advantage of with it. So I'll start with my, my thoughts and impressions. Um, um, obviously, I, not obviously, it was smaller than past shows, um, much smaller than, than most of them. And I, I st still have a feeling when you see the numbers, um, I still have a feeling a lot of people weren't quite ready to get out into the crowds um, after the, the coronavirus uh, and the epidemic um, or, or a pandemic. Um, so I, I think that still was evident in there. Um, the, it was the first time I had been to one of these venues at the MGM. I think the last one was at the, um, uh, the um, oh, up the street there, uh, the other, um, oh, my brain went dead on it. Uh, but the MGM was a, a large uh, venue, but it was a good venue, large hall, multiple things going on, lots of happening. Um, but it was well, well, um, it was, you know, parking was easy. The rooms were easy to get access to. It was a bit of a hike from the rooms to the to the show. Um, and of course, <laughs> as you were walking from the rooms to the show, you went right past the pool with people enjoying the sunshine and beautiful Las Vegas weather. Um, so that was a little bit uh, put off. But once you got into the show, the uh, exhibition hall and all of the rooms where the uh, presentations and whatnot uh, were, uh, were, were adequate, um, well, pro well provisioned, well taken care of. The whole event was very well organized, um, easy to check in. They had a nice app for um, uh, tracking what sessions you wanted to go to and a map of the show floor and things like that. And I think for me, you know, probably one of the most important things was, you know, I, uh, it was a good energy with the people who were there. And I'm, I'm primarily focused on J.D. Edwards um, and I, J.D. Edwards folks. And that's, you know, where we're, so there was a good ed energy, a lot of positive vibes about, you know, where, where people are, uh, how people are working with J.D. Edwards and, and Oracle and where it's going. Um, and uh, that was, you know, kind of, you know, an overall good feeling, uh, joy and happiness uh, with, with, with folks uh, as well. Um, I see a chat that somebody says no audio. Um, Brooke, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Okay, I just, I opened up the chat and said there's no audio. That scared me. So I'm going, going okay, fair enough. So maybe it's just on, on, on that individual's end. So again, good energy, positive vibes, a lot of nice people, uh, a good event, you know, good events, walk into ex exhibitions. Um, all of the sessions, at least the ones that I attended and the one that I delivered were uh, well attended and a lot of interest, a lot of good interaction with people. So 
um, a good, a good, good feeling from the show overall. Um, so then, you know, so then let's move on. And, you know, I'm going to go just a little bit backwards. And then there should be thoughts, impressions, summary of the show, and then Oracle's direction. I have my numbering scheme a little bit off in the PowerPoint. I'm sorry, I'll fix that before we publish it. Uh, but let's take a look at a summary of the show. Um, the event started Sunday evening. There was a regional user group get together uh, that uh, started Sunday evening. Registration started around four on, on Sunday. Um, and the last sessions went through Thursday afternoon. I know I had my last uh, or my three presentations uh, was Thursday morning uh, from 10 to 11. Uh, so that was the, the duration of it. Uh, most uh, the time uh, where the sessions were going on, they would close the exhibit hall, um, but sometimes the sessions would go on and the exhibit hall would be open. Uh, the expected numbers, um, they were ex expecting 1,800 in-person attendees. And I got this information from Oracle from before the show. Um, and there were actually 541. So I think it was a lot less than they anticipated. Um, and, but you can see primarily of that 541 uh, per, uh, attendees in person, 326 were JDE. So uh, virtual uh, attendees, uh, there were, because a lot of the sessions were uh, presented uh, in person and also virtual where you could log in and, 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 um, and watch the, 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 the virtual, they would record them and play them back or you, know, you could join virtually. Um, so they, and so you can see, that's where I see, they say that people uh, weren't quite ready to come out after, you know, um, after with the pandemic because they expected 805 and they got 778 actual uh, virtual attendees. And of those 280 were JD Edwards. So a lot of the people were there uh, were JD Edwards uh, uh, users. I mean, I did talk with some uh, uh, people, so a few people soft people and, uh, uh, but that was mostly, you know, JD Edwards was the largest uh, community group because this was a Quest event. Uh, there were seven, uh, 70 vendors in attendance with booths and uh, uh, providing sessions and information, you know, uh, swag and giveaways and things like that. Um, and there were 97 JD Edwards sessions, you know, uh, the, of those 97 uh, sessions, uh, J.D. Edwards sessions, I would probably put 60% of them, and I have a list of them all, uh, were really focused around orchestration, the use of orchestrator uh, features um, in different uh, business applications. There were a couple of customers came out, presented how they took advantage of orchestrator. One I was really pretty impressed with, they uh, use orchestrator to uh, uh, get information from blockchain to, you know, authorize or validate and uh, their 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 transactions within JD Edwards, um, other orchestrations for shipping and transportation. Uh, so a lot of the, a lot of there were several quite a few of the uh, sessions using Orchestrator where companies came and presented along. So if, um, and it just is always a, a heads up if you you know you can get a free pass, free ticket. Um, they'll even I think they'll even pay for you to fly. Um, and join in on, on a show like Blueprint 4D uh, if you uh, collaborate and present uh, uh, a, a use case of it. I know my three sessions were around uh, the future of JDE, your future with JDE with um, also I presented, you know, five of uh, our five most popular customer use cases for Orchestrator. And then I did a uh, what's new and form personalizations, form extensions. Oracle presence was very good there with uh, a lot of the, what I would call the technical experts. They had a, se a, a section called Ask the Experts where you could go up and meet with the Oracle developers and program managers, you know, AJ Schifano and uh, some of the, you know, Haiyan Wang from, you know, some of the developers, uh, JD Edwards ex uh, expertise people. Uh, you could meet with them and then, of course, walk around and meet with all the partners and vendors and ask questions and, and get it. Um, this is just a, 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 a one screen uh, picture. Uh, this was our GSI booth at the show. You can see it was, uh, and if you look around, I mean, the whole booth, uh, show was very bright and cheery. Uh, we had virtual reality uh, headsets going on. You could play a game, you get a massage and a massage chair and you know, uh, we pulled out, brought in quite a few people. 
Uh, I know because uh, people like me that did presentations at there as well. Um, and uh, they had snacks uh, every evening for a social event. Lunches were provided. Um, this is just one of the rooms that I was doing a presentation and this was the orchestrator use cases. I think it probably made about, I mean, the, just about uh, uh, not quite a half of the room. So probably about 40 to 45 people in, in that section. Um, here's another one that, where I presented what I called your future with JDE. Same kind of room, uh, same kind of attendance, probably 50, 40, 50 people uh, in the room. And then we had super sessions that uh, took larger, larger groups up to a hundred. Right? So I think um, the Oracle announcements in Oracle's direction, uh, which is always, you know, these these events are a good place to get, you know, what's coming and what's new, um, and what Oracle's direction is. Uh, so uh, they rolled out and for reinforced that uh, they added another year onto Premier Support uh, to go through 2033. Uh, which you know just kind of lets you know lets us all you know take enhancements. You know there are new enhancements in these uh, in the in these uh, 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 in the in this in the releases, right? Uh, the resource console, summary console, staff utilization, shop floor load calendar. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing a, a presentation coming up on all the new Jet apps uh, that I've been just been released and um, uh, and they're all. Uh, so there's no more use of the ADF server in JDE. You won't need to have one anymore, uh, simplifying. And then these applications are, are very graphical in nature, easy to use. And it's just one of the directions that they're going um, and providing uh, more usability and functionality for, for users. Um, citizen developer and orchestrator are really where everything is going in their enhancements and, and, re, and, and new uh new features, um, logical extensions, some of the new uh, features. Uh, there's uh, the, uh, and I'll talk about as we get into orchestrator enhancements, uh, what's coming down the line, some pretty exciting things are around uh, uh, being able to uh, add a workflow, create your own workflow in the studio workflow modeler, and then plug it into a, uh, a uh, logical extension uh, to launch a, a workflow from a logical extension that you built. Um, and then a lot of third-party applications, a lot of those partners were there that, that deliver these applications, uh, these tools for building out your own applications um, and you know, using, using APIs to talk back and forth to JD Edwards, as well as REST services and things like that well, within it. So Premier support through 2033. Uh, there will be a release 23. Um, we're now called release 22. So as we all kind of suspected, when they announced release 22, uh, there was a release 23 is coming in the fall. Uh, more tools, innovations, and more technology enhancements. Um, and um, I'll, I'll point out a few of those in, in, in just a moment. Uh, so that's you know kind of an announcement. They actually you know, put the stake in the ground and said that that will happen. So this is, you know, kind of where we're at, you know, into 2033 going into to release. And, you know, although it's released 22 and released, and now we're at 9263 uh, is the tools level. So I'm guessing it'll be like a 9264 or five uh, at the tools level when they really do a release of, uh, of, of uh, release 23 uh, with the apps and tools uh, upgrade together, you know. So, uh, you know, there is uh, growth, uh, there is direction and enhancements that, you know, uh, Oracle is, 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 is going with. So, um, the, and, and I got a list, quite a few lists of, of what a lot of the uh, features from a functionality perspective that will be coming. But uh, I think the bigger bang is what's happening coming in Orchestrator, uh, the future for it. Uh, but so I kind of called those out here in, in a list uh, that I pulled out. Um, you're starting a workflow process from a logical extension. If you're not on uh, release 22.926.0 or 9.261, when logical extensions got added into the orchestrator, that's really a, a, a moving the orchestrator into the realm of being a program development tool, not just a, integration interface or process uh, 
improvement and management uh, tool, uh, but being able to build logic in it. And then now being able to build in a logical extension, you know, to uh, uh, do some, you know, what if or, or if then kind of logic, you know, and do calculation accumulation. And then if this is the case, launch a, a workflow process that you can copy and use the existing workflows that are delivered with JD Edwards or create one of your own. Um, Orchestrator will have a multi-part REST connector. Right now it's a single part REST connector uh, to uh, connect orchestrations together. So they'll now be able to have multi-part, be able to go from one orchestration and request and go into multiple steps uh, for it. Um, free form input for orchestrations launched from form extension. So um, there is, uh, you can put a, an orchestration on a form extension uh, very popular use of JD Edwards and the orchestrator, for example, uh, being able to um, uh, launch a, an orchestration after you uh, add a new item record in the system to be able to copy it to all your business unit, your inventory business uh, branch plants. Uh, but now in the future, this is coming. And I think this is probably out. I think if I looked at it back in just this month, they released most all of these orchestration tools uh, or orchestrator features. Uh, be able to have a free form input uh, into the uh, into an orchestration that's launched. Where before it's always been a map field to field, but now you can do a free form input, uh, attach it as a, a text field uh, a file along with the orchestration. Um, array inputs for orchestration launched from the Enterprise One user interface. So uh, in 9260, uh, orchestrations can be launched from an E1 page, right? But what you couldn't do was have a, a uh, an array uh, of variables for input. It was a single one-to-one -one relationship. So the capability to drag and drop a spreadsheet, for example, into a uh, E1 page that has an orchestration on it and go ahead and launch the orchestration um, is is something that's uh, uh, coming um, and uh, very, very powerful. So um, I often do a, uh, have a logical extension or, or actually just a simple orchestration that creates sales orders. Well, you could put that sales order work uh, orchestration on an E1 page and let your user drag and drop a, a spreadsheet of sales order information, you know, ship to, bill to, item quantity, things like that with multiple in an array and let the system automatically create uh, uh, sales orders. That's, you know, something that's coming uh, in it. Um, importing and exporting workflows from the studio. That's just a, a new add into the orchestrator studio for the for workflow management. Uh, about and third party cross references for orchestration. So uh, being able to re, re, re to cross reference to redefine and remap, if you will, uh, uh, outbound uh, orchestrations, call them something else or bring them in and, and rename them. Uh, to use them within within the system, you can and uh, along with the uh, with the uh, workflow. This another couple other areas uh, uh, is improved layouts for the workflows. Being able to create one from scratch uh, until this the, this latest nine two six three that just came out, uh, you could not create a workflow. You could modify an existing one. You, you could copy and save an existing one, but you couldn't create one from scratch. And you certainly couldn't delete them, they, but so they've enhanced that then. Um, and then really probably one of the biggest ones of all is the last one here, environment properties for orchestrations. Being able to say what environment is this dev, PY, PD uh, for this orchestration and calling it out uh, rather than having to go through a building and promoting from one uh, environment to another one. So you can go in and, and change which environment it, it belongs to. Uh, a good feature uh, within it. So this is just a list, and I mean this this uh, uh, spreadsheet uh, uh, PowerPoint uh, deck will be out there available to you. This is a summarized uh, uh, list of the actual some of the uh, features uh, uh, in in JD Edwards that will be coming. And I couldn't get Oracle to say com commit which ones, but you know you can see some of these are already been released and out there. Uh, there's a, a, they're looking for a bid for inventory availability and customer search sample mobile app. Right now, the mobile app that uh, they have is only, you know, for purchase order approvals, right? Uh, this one already made it in here. Uh, uh, 
uh, creating form and row exits uh, from from a form extension. Uh, those are, are as, is released already as well. Um, and I think more and more will be happening uh, in in JD Edwards will be the um, the um, uh, automating and getting further and further away from the fat client, the Windows client, um, and working with JDE. You can already can you know create an application and bring it in through the web uh, OMW P ninety eight two two zero W application and register and take it take advantage of it uh, that way. Um, and I think more and more, uh, there's, you really only need a, a fat client anymore for pure raw development of business functions and things like that. And I think there'll be more and more going away from that uh, uh, um, in, in the future. So with that, uh, that's kind of the summary of, of the show and, and uh, what you, uh, I've seen and what's that we think is coming. Um, and with that, I'll turn it back over to Brooke. Can you hear me? Sorry, yep. it was kept you, you, muted. Do you, you need me to stop sharing or? Uh, no, I think I've got it. Can you see my screen okay? Yes. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much, bud. Um, I just want to do a, a, a few quick follow-up items before we move into our questions and our answers. Um, we do offer extensive educational resources on our website, which allows you to access our recorded webcasts, as well as upcoming webcasts. We have newsletters that are out each month, our resource center, YouTube, and we also offer on-site and virtual workshops. You can go into our main screen, um, which will allow you on the main menu. You go um, over here to JD Edwards, and then you can click on webcasts resource center, blogs, newsletters, conferences, and events, and that's how you can access all of the information from our website. We also have erptalk.com, which is the problem-solving collaboration site, which allows users to post questions and get their answers, and it also allows you to contribute um, your answers to others' questions or post your own questions. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Sorry, May. Can we unmute people, Brooke, or um, yeah, only uh, through the Q&A or chat? I don't see anything in the Q&A or chat. Let's see here. My dashboard is not coming up. So let's see, Q&A and chat, okay. If you would like to still input your questions, you can feel free to do so. Also, we have our information listed on the screen, our phone number, um, our social media handles, as well as our email info at getgsi.com. Um, just maybe just a minute or so. If you have any questions, please feel free to submit them. Anything else, bud? Nothing that I can think of to add in. Um, right. I, thought, I was hoping we'd get some questions, but you stunned them all with all of your information. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. Well, if you guys do think of any questions, please feel free to submit them to us. And we thank you for attending today. And thank you so much, Bud, for your presentation. Thank and you. We hope, that, we hope that you guys have a great day. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.